Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about disabling automatic updates on your Windows 11 computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this might mean different things to different people. And in today's tutorial, the purpose of it is going to be basically if you want to just go ahead and temporarily turn them off versus if you want to do a more permanent solution. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, like I said. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is right click on the Windows Start button and select Settings. And then you want to select Windows Update on the left side. On the right side, you want to go ahead where it says More Options for Pausing Updates. You can go ahead and actually pause updates here by selecting the little pause sign, as well as clicking inside the drop down here, and you can set how many weeks to pause updates for. So let's say we wanted to pause for two weeks here. So now it's actually paused and you're able to extend the pause by clicking inside the drop down here and extending it for additional time. So that's one way I had to temporarily turn it off. If you want to do a more lasting solution, if you close out of here and if you go ahead and left click on the magnifying glass down in your system taskbar and you type in services, best result should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to locate the Background Intelligent Transfer Service. And you want to go ahead and double click on it. You want to set Service Status to Stopped. So you want to go ahead and select the Stop button. And if Startup Type is set to Automatic or Automatic Delayed Start, go ahead and select Disabled and select Apply and OK. And now you want to go down to the Windows Update Service. So you want to scroll down near the bottom, but not all the way. And go ahead and double click on it. You want to set startup type to disabled and then stop that service and then select apply and okay. Restart your computer to save that change and that should be a more permanent solution I would say. So pretty straightforward process guys. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.